everyone! Welcome to Dora's Stories. In today's video I'm going to show you how to make a homemade peeling. It's very good to use it on your face, to use it on your hands, you can use it on your feet. It makes the skin very soft, it removes all the dead skin and it feels really amazing. Are you ready? Let's go! The first thing you have to do before starting, of course, is washing your face. You need to make sure that you have removed any makeup or uh, moisturizing cream that you have on your face. I have already washed mine. I can use a wet sponge just to make sure that nothing is on my face. Okay. Make sure you clean all your face very well. Now, what you need for the face peeling is extra virgin olive oil. Actually, if you don't have extra virgin, you can just use any kind of olive oil and sugar. Here I have about a tablespoon of sugar and I'm going to mix the olive oil. I don't want it to be very thick because I don't want to, to hurt my skin. I will show you how it looks. As you can understand, because of the use of olive oil, it will be very oily so I suggest you to wear something that it's comfortable and if there is any stain you won't regret it. Uh, this is how the mixture looks like okay and you can use your fingers you see it's not very it's not very thick it's not also liquid so once you have this mixture ready, you put some of the mixture on your fingers and you apply it on your face. Be careful, don't push or press much on your skin because we don't want to hurt our skin. So you can apply it on your cheeks, on the nose and the area around the nose where usually we have black pores. Mmm, tastes good. On your chin. Um, I would like to tell you that I'm doing it standing here and you see pieces falling down. I have applied something on the floor so that I won't make a mess. It's better to do it in over the sink so that you will not make mess in your bathroom. So you apply everywhere the mixture. We don't put this mixture on our neck. It's preferably to put it only on the face. I come closer to show you how it looks. It's quite oily. You see? I still have a lot. I will not throw this one because late, later I can use it for my hands and I can use it for my feet. You see here? We use circular motion and I say one more time, you don't press too hard on your face. And here,
And this is it. I think now I'm ready. I have some on my lashes. Now I'm ready to wash it off. Before I wash it off, I will also do a little bit my palms and outside my hands. It's very easy. It takes no time. You can use it uh, in the shower. It's better to use it in the shower actually so that you can wash off everything. If you wash it only with water, it's really oily. I mean, it's really like you have oil in your hands. So you better wash it with some soap, at least the hands. Wash it properly. Oh, it already feels very, very soft. The difference is huge. Uh okay, now it's time to wash my face. You can see, already clean. Now I'm gonna use some face wash. I like to put it on my sponge. And make sure that my face is clean properly because I don't like that oily feeling although olive oil is very good for skin and where I am right now it's quite dry so this one will help my my skin absorb the oil be more soft and for sure Take away all the dead skin. See? Ah, very good. Now I'm going to wash off. my face is clean I can use some moisturizing cream of course I personally use always my serum it feels especially the nose it feels so soft oh. Remember to always use circular motion when you deal with your face. And as my mom used to say, when you put cream on your neck, always from down up. I don't know if this is true, but I always follow it. Okay, and now that I finished, I can apply my makeup on. Hey guys, if you like my video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. 
and press the subscribe button for more videos. See you next time. Bye bye.